triathlon first appeared one season ago in the 2020 Marble League. Back then, the Hazers stood atop the podium in front of Team Momo and O'Rangers. Where do they stand after this one? We'll have to see. Interesting duality of fates on display in that medal table. Zero medals for the Minty Maniacs sitting in dead last. Zero medals for the Thunderbolts, for instance, who sit in fourth. This goes to show you how difficult the Marble League is. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. This is a tricky course that begins on the circuit as the local youth team, the pupils, here in Felinia. They line up on the top of the gate and off they go, that split, right off the starting line. Then you have this series of corners, you have to get the line right. Right-hander coming onto the sand now. Many different pathways that you can take from the sand. You also have to manage your speed because as you can tell, hitting off those walls makes it very difficult to keep going. Then a drop into the water when you're most needing air. You gotta hold it and roll down to the line and come across. This one should race much quicker than last year's triathlon, which was event number eight a season ago. Winning time in that one, 32-42, but obviously a very different course than what we see here inside of the stadium. As we get ready for the first run of these games in the triathlon. Individual marbles here. Foggy, Mallard, Minty Drizzle, and Shock get underway, and it's Minty Drizzle leading through the opening corners of the track. Close battle there, right behind with Shock as they come onto the sand. Those top two trying to stretch it. Foggy getting caught up on the walls and drops to last. Now Mallard moves into second place and takes the lead, it appears. Streaking down to the line, Minty Drizzle up top is gonna slow to a crawl. And the Green Ducks representative will move on. Mallard, the captain. Foggy from the Hazers did recover and finish just three tenths of a second back. Green ducks and water, aha. Rapidly in the meantime, competing in the first individual event since the Midnight Bay Grand Prix, where they podium along with Razzie. And it's a three marble battle for second place right now, as streaking off into the distance is Frost from the Gliding Glaciers. Momo. Closes up, oh, and look at this, a big switch coming down the sand, rapidly has the lead as they drop halfway through the water portion, little bit left to go, and rapidly holds on, I guess caught up with the line there. Frost will take second and advance out of this second heat. Captain for Team Momo coming in last there. This is a little surprising for a team that has been on a tear of late. Glimmer from the Shining Swarm, you may notice, a newcomer. And off we go down the circuit. Coco from the Chocolatiers had the lead until a strong wall hit gave it to Glimmer of the Shining Swarm. They trade back and forth, coming down the sand, and a big gap back that is closing as I say that from Orangen of the Arrangers, who drops into second place, drafting in the water, moves to the right side, has the lead back to the left, slowing down. It's gonna be a photo finish, not that it will matter, because the top two will advance Glimmer officially gets the win between the two of them. Orangen, a tenth behind, and then a second back to the rest of the field. Glimmer, that's a strong debut. Now, coming up here, Limers, Cat's Eyes, Indigo Stars, and the Rojo Rollers are away, and it's Gulime holding the lead through the first left-hander. Really close draft back behind there for Blue Eye from Crazy Cat's Eyes and Bingo from Indigo Stars. Switching back and forth there with the Rojo Rollers, that's Rojo Trace. A clear lead for the Limers as they drop into the water. They will advance, but the battle is for second place. Who will have it? Oh, that's gonna be close, but the Crazy Cat's Eyes will, well, hold on a second. Being told that there is an incident. Oh, look at that. The Rojo Rollers got stranded on the sand. The stewards are investigating, the referees going over and having a discussion. Lots of discussion here. Something gonna happen. Oh, and look at this. Blue Eye has been disqualified for pushing Rojo Trace off the course. 
but crazy cat size fans don't like this at all. This is a furor developing in the stadium. We've had limited replays thus far, but Crazy Cat's Eyes will finish dead last and get zero points out of this one if the result stands. It says current results. I'm not sure if those are official yet or if we are going to have an appeal or anything of the sort. In the meantime, we will move on to the semifinals. I guess once those go along, there's not much that Crazy Cat's Eyes can do. Bingo, Frost, Glimmer, and the captain of the Green Ducks, Ballard, are away, and it's the captain that holds a 5-10 length lead through the first few turns. The Green Ducks were strongest in the water, and they hope to finish in the top two here, but they have to navigate through the sand first. Gliding glaciers fall all the way to dead last. Good recovery here for the Ducks, who also lost the lead, and they hold it down the stretch. But this is a three-marble race. They will be passed at the line by Glimmer from the Shining Swarm. The debutante continues a strong run, and Mallard does advance by about two tenths in front of Bingo. And the Indigo Stars, it came down that close. I'm not sure the Shining Swarm were expecting to be in this position. Blue line rapidly. Foggy and Orange, no captains this time. As we swing around with Foggy in the lead, losing it to the Savage Speeders rapidly. This right-hander sets you up very well for the sand, or can set you up pretty poorly. Orangin comes up into second place, fights for the lead. A bump, they go into the water side by side. You need a better view than this. At the finish line, everybody's right there and rapidly will pip everyone. Foggy will advance but four hundredths between transferring, Gulime just misses out. Leads changing by the second here. People gathered around the water cooler are gonna have plenty to talk about. Bingo from the Indigo Stars just misses out on the top four, still gets good 11 points out of it. Gulime in sixth, Orangin, the Arrangers in seventh, and Frost in eighth. Among those who did not survive the semifinal. Four have advanced though. One will not medal. Where will the others shake out? It's time to go for gold in the triathlon. And we're rolling. Lee changes several times right out of the gate with Foggy, stretching it a huge margin over Mallard. The captain of the Green Ducks is closing up corner by corner as they enter the sand. Rapidly was strong here last time and starts to wheel them in ever so slightly. The Green Ducks into the water first, but slow down rapidly, and Foggy are right there beside him and passing them. Foggy trying to hold on, drifting to the near side, and I don't think they held on. Rapidly may have stolen gold. Rapidly gets it by nine hundredths of a second. Gold for the Savage Speeders, silver, and maybe a mild heartbreak for the Green Ducks. And Foggy from the Hazers captures bronze. So many water events that we have seen come right down to the very last roll, and this was no exception. Foggy had entered the water looking so strong, but instead of staying right down the middle, a lot of lateral movement tailed off at the end and actually took that perfect line down the middle. The Green Ducks trying to pull the draft off of them as best they could. Just like that, the Savage Speeders, who finished seventh with Rapidly in this event last season, go several better and get the gold glimmer from the Shining Swarm, making a debut and, I guess, feast or famine in that one. <laughs> the best time and the worst time of the lot, all going to that same marble. Savage Speeders, first team to win two golds this season. Rapidly, that is the fourth gold the career. Green Ducks up four spots into fourth. The top three remain the same, but those margins have shrunk. Quick shout out from our patron Emma Case. Happy birthday, Aaron. Go Lime. Emma and Sydney love you. Well, we thank you so much for watching. Catch your breath as we get ready for the showdown.